Of course, midterm mayhem reaching its grand finale. We are live on the ground in battleground states across the country. Georgia's tenth Senate race between Raphael Warnock and Herschel Walker heating up tonight. Both candidates virtually tied in the polls. News Nation senior national correspondent Brian Enton joining us live from the hard fought state tonight. Brian. Natasha, it is close, just about as close as it can get, get here in Georgia. The candidates, Herschel Walker and Raphael Warnock, campaigning across the state today, attacking each other, trying to break through to voters now just two days out from the midterms. Do you want somebody who's going to divide us or somebody who's going to bring us together? We got to get it right because if we don't get it right, we won't recognize this country tomorrow. A quarter of a billion dollars. That's how much has been spent on Georgia's Senate race between Democrat Raphael Warnock and Republican Herschel Walker. The race between the pastor and the former football player is deadlocked. And today, Walker had former U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, Nikki Haley, by his side on the campaign trail. So many of these Senate races are so close across yeah. the country, not just Georgia, but, you know, Pennsylvania, all over the place. Do you think we're going to see a red wave? Were you expecting it to be just this close? I don't want to talk about a red wave because I think we have to be humble and disciplined. When I leave here, I'm headed to New Hampshire to help General Bolduc. Tomorrow we're helping Ron Johnson in Wisconsin and Dr. Oz in Pennsylvania. It's anywhere and everywhere because every vote matters. The winners of these races will be based on turnout, not based on anything else but turnout. So do our people care more than their people? We'll find out. Out. The guy I'm running against is Herschel Walker highlighting what he calls Warnock's failed policies in the Senate. In two short years, he's given us high inflation. In two short years, he's given us this border that's wide open. Warnock says Walker doesn't have the experience to be a senator. He could razzle dazzle you on the football field. But we're on we're on a different field right now. And the people of Georgia need a different kind of champion. If early voting is any indication, Georgians are engaged this election. Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger says there has been record early turnout. There was all this controversy with the law uh, initially, uh, but you've set records. I mean, it's, it's sort of surprising a lot of people. That's not surprising us. Uh, we have voters are engaged in the process, and we now have photo ID for all forms of voting. It's the appropriate security. And by having security, it also elevates confidence, and voters obviously are responding. Okay, so early voting is officially over here in Georgia, so it is now all about Election Day on Tuesday. And then there is that word that both campaigns don't want to talk about right now, the R word, runoff. It is a possibility. There are rules here in Georgia that a candidate has to get 50% to win. That very well may not happen on Tuesday, uh, which would trigger a runoff. Natasha. Yeah, we'll have to see Brian Enton live for us in Atlanta tonight. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.